Once your drawing is finished, you can list all the objects that have been drafted with Autofeed. There are two ways to select the equipment, via layers, note that frozen layers will be left out, and via your predefined zones. If no zone was defined, then the whole modeling space will be taken into account. In this example, three zones were defined, as can be seen here. We are going to create a bill of all air networks within zone 2. To do so, freeze all water networks and free all air networks. Now start the command to create a table. We shift to drawing mode. In the dialog box, check network bills, choose the relevant zone, here it's zone 2, select AutoCAD table and click OK. The listing and analysis process begins. When finished, click to position the top left hand corner of the table, it appears in AutoCAD, showing a bill for rectangular ducts and circular ducts. To create an equipment bill, the equipment has to be marked with an assigned tag. Here's an example of an assigned tag. It's a .dwg file which contains attributes. This file is kept in the directory tags. C colon auto 2009 plus 2-tags. All the tags of Autofeed are kept in this folder. This is also the folder where you can create new tags if none of the existing ones are suitable. When you create a new tag, it's advisable to open an existing one, save it under a different name and then modify it. This avoids potential scale differences. You can then change, add or remove attributes for the new tag. You can also modify its appearance. This tag can be inserted at the same time as drafting the equipment or afterwards, depending on the chosen preset. This preset can be changed with the tags command. The data box opens, showing presets for each piece of equipment. Each of them has a tick box. When checked, the tag will appear automatically as the equipment is inserted. If unchecked, the equipment will be inserted without tag. Here you can find all the tags contained in the tags directory. Specify the tag you'd like to assign for each type of equipment. The I button allows you to insert the chosen tag. If you check this tick box and then draw a valve, the tag appears at the same time. dialog box also appears where the tag's attributes can be specified. However, if the tick box is unchecked and you draw a piece of equipment, no assigned tag appears. But it can be added afterwards by using the I button as you can see in this example. Once your drawing is finished, all the equipment tagged with assigned tags can be listed. There are two ways to select the equipment, via layers, note that frozen layers will be left out, and via predefined zones. If no zone was defined, then the whole modeling space will be taken into account. In this example, three zones were defined. We're going to create a bill of tags of zone two. Start the command. Autofeed shifts to drawing mode. Now choose the tags to include in the list. The title of each table can be modified if required.
choose the relevant zone, here we set zone 2, and select AutoCAD table and click OK. Click to position the top left hand corner of the first table and then place the two other tables. 